all is <clears throat> well. To my Scorpio kisses. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love y'all ass to the moon and back. We go together. Y'all know that real, real bad. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's fucking good? To my newly subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. We appreciate that shit. This is a Scorpio affair, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your cat, your dog, your tea, your H2O, whatever it takes. Scorps. Just stay tapped into this fucked up ass energy I'm getting from these cards right now. Give me a second, Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm hearing, I'm hearing discernment ain't for the mere mortals. Your discernment is so you detect God. So you can detect God energy. What is this? They're showing me something about discernment. Um, you know, Scorpio, what I'm hearing is like, over the next 30 to 45 days, you'll be you'll be getting introduced. Your or should I say your light body will be or your soul, your spirit, whatever this is that astral travels will be meeting your higher self, your spirit team, certain high-ranking angels. Um I'm here like it's very important for you to know high-ranking angels. Gabriel is very significant to your journey. Archangel Michael is very significant to your journey. I feel like you need to recognize those two angels that have been assigned to you. I'm hearing Archangel Michael is the highest rank or he ranks higher than Gabriel. I'm not sure. I know... Uh, Michael is about protection. Um, I'm hearing something about your name being put in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm hearing Heaven's Book. You're in Heaven's Book. Angels know your name. They knew your name before they were assigned to you. Yeah, that's Archangel Michael right there with the star in reverse and the six of pentacles. I feel like Archangel Michael is coming in to protect you while you heal, while you're vulnerable here. Because your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, much is required of you now, Scorpio. Yeah, look, justice in reverse. Much is required of you now. I'm hearing that. Um... You could be real tired, Scorpio. Sleepy. You could work overnight. I feel like somebody is having a psychotic break. Because you're leaving. Or because you left already. They never in a million years thought you'd leave, Scorpio. That's what I'm hearing. You said it a million times, though. They didn't know every time you were planting seeds, like, you know, the nine of wands, the nine of swords in reverse. I told you somebody having a mental fucking break because you left their ass. They can't follow the fucking rules. This somebody who refused to heal. Yeah, now they catching hell. The judgment in reverse. This is somebody who breadcrumbed you the whole connection, lied to you, third partied you, and never thought you'd leave their trifling ass. That's what that is. Okay, just straight fucking up. And now they having a mental fucking breakdown. 
they losing everything. Whoever this person was, they, they whoever this person is, yeah, they very arrogant. This somebody who, this is somebody who um, didn't. This is somebody who didn't realize how connected your life was to theirs. They didn't realize how important your part is in their life. They, they, in other words, Scorpio, this person didn't know you was the reason they had peace. But at the same time, this person was taking your peace, bread crumbing you, pouring cups other places. And, and this person, they having a mental break because for one, you, they never even, you know, the arrogance is, 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 is really got them fucked up and drinking and doing all because they never thought in a million years, you leave them Scorpio, you stuck. I keep telling y'all when Scorpio leave for their peace, they not fucking coming back. And Scorpio probably did tell your ass a million times they was divorcing your ass and leaving your ass. So why you shocked? Because you never thought it would happen. Yeah, I feel like, too, however, if, if if this is a divorce, it's like this person going to lose everything. And that's what I'm saying. But you you helped build everything. Like, literally. This person couldn't have got this shit off the ground if you hadn't, if you hadn't fucked with it. Just period. And that's what it is. And you ain't even trying to get credit for the shit. But you ain't finna run away with it all, either. You the reason. So now this person is... is like stress the fuck out with the nine of swords in reverse. This person can't think straight. They having a psychotic break. Okay, why? Because you set boundaries. You cut their ass off. You're not willing to do the third party situation, the late nights, the lies, whatever this is. You just ain't. I don't want to play this game. I don't know all the rules. That's what I feel like. You don't know all the rules. I keep hearing Gabriel and Michael. So I don't know what the purposes are for Gabriel and Michael. Somebody tell me in the chat, like, what's their what's their, their angel give? Like, protection, um, love, what is it? Not a wands in the world in reverse. All right. What else here? You're the five of wands. <clears throat> it's like every time you look up, you're in a third party situation. Some bitch at, at their job competing with you and they helping these hoes out. Like they, they, whoever this person is, this fucking clown, I just feel like, you know, they got you looking bad out there, Scorpio. And it ain't even about how people looking at this shit, but it's just like the, the audacity of this person to be out in public with motherfuckers, knowing they married to you. They out somewhere in public, you know, dating other women. That's what I'm getting with this five ones. It's like, if you wouldn't have left this person, they'd have moved the bitch in the house eventually, because that's how they seeing this shit. Like, they one step away from asking you about some polygamy ass shit, because you just done allowed them to... Do this shit? Yeah. But see, the Three of Pentacles here, that's the third party collaboration. This person wants you to keep being a part of this shit. He wants you to fight for a third party situation. And you're like, bitch, have you lost, you really have lost your mind. And if you didn't, you about to. Yeah. And that's what's exactly going on. This person cracking the fuck up on the inside. This person is cracking up, like literally. And you're somewhere else building your new life. And that's just what it is. I feel like you cut this person off. I feel like just like just you leaving this situation was a cut off. You feel me? Lights cut off. Water cut off. House going into full clothes. Like, what happened? Yeah, like I'm getting from I'm getting like anywhere from 30 to 45 days. They whole shit will be dismantled without you. What else? While you move forward. Oh well, bitch. Yo, look, I told you the strength card. While you move forward, while you forge forward. Scorpio's like, I don't know, you you know, you you settle inside this connection thinking that this person was somebody you could build with, somebody who had who who had your like shared your same strengths and, and weaknesses, all type of shit. Like I feel like, you know, you and this person, y'all were like competitive with each other okay like 
it started out in a good way and then this person started getting jealous and like being your competition involving you you know with a third party situation this person got a wondering eye too they ain't they weak as fuck and that's that's what you kept saying that's why you kept saying you're gonna divorce their ass because you saw the weakness yeah this, this, this whoever this is they're a scout they got a wandering eye what else now they cracking the fuck up. They wondering where you at. Yeah, there you go. That three of swords is in reverse. Like you, this time you going all the way through with it. You ain't just talking about it. You walking the walk now. Um, I feel like reality is setting in with this person. They could be getting their divorce papers delivered at their job. The sheriff pulling up. <laughs> You could be seeing three, three, three. You got two nines, two threes, like heavy on the polygamy. Or like threesomes, yeah, the eight of pentacles. Scorpio, I feel like you got skills to pay your bills, but it feel like you took a bike, a back seat to this person. It's like you... Almost as if you didn't start your business and you helped them start their business. And the shit flourished because you, you know, you you a master at entrepreneurship, whoever I'm speaking to. Like you were you were built for whatever this is. And this person, they can't maintain whatever this is. You help them build. Okay. And and my whole thing is the audacity. I keep hearing that from your spirit team. Like the audacity of this bitch to bring somebody else into your blessings, how you blessed them, how you gave them, you know, your time, your energy, your money, your investment into them. Push your shit to the back thinking you'll be the background and they foreground and eventually that role will switch. Instead, this person got more money now, more stature, and they'd rather compete with you. OK, not healthy anymore. Okay, competing meaning let me find somebody that's one up on you. Let me get let me get me a bitch on the side. Yeah. That's that's this person ego and they being judged for that shit. But the thing about you, Scorpio, is when you leave the blessing leave, the page of cups in reverse. When you leave the blessing leave, yeah, look, the overall energy is the star. It's like you stop. It's all it's like you stopped doing what you was doing in your life to help this person, thinking they was going to rock with you, and this person, they didn't. It's like not only didn't they rock with you, but they like rocking with another bitch. Like, literally. This person didn't expect you to leave, though. Heavy on the Leo. They This person, <clears throat> Aquarius is here as well. This, for some reason, this person thought they like, you know how when you help somebody build something, like you meet this bitch, like I always say in my video, and then when they read, they drag their finger across the words, like you had to help this bitch fill out an application, shit like that is what I'm getting. Like you really, it might not be that extreme to illiteracy, but like I feel like this person was illiterate to entrepreneurship. It's like you gave this, you, you gave this person money or advice, or you helped this person put this shit together. You help this this person get it off the ground. Like, really, they ain't do shit. But just, like, they name on it. But you didn't mind because you thought you and this person was building something. This three of pentacles in the middle of your reading. Like, you thought y'all was building. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, this bitch building with somebody else. He pouring more into somebody else than you. And you still working. You still in his background. You still run, working his businesses and... Helping him be profitable and this bitch somewhere sleeping with somebody else and paying their fucking bills. That's that's what I'm getting. So let's see here. There could be um there could have been a pregnancy involved. I feel like it was a miscarriage. A miscarriage happened here with the page of cups in reverse. I'm hearing love child. Yeah, like this person, they hit a lot of shit from you, Scorpio. They hit a lot of shit, but you found out. Clarify this nine of wands. What's going on with this nine of wands? Yeah, I feel like this person just wounded you a lot. Like, it's like you came to this person in perfect mental health. Like, you trusted this person with your heart and they just fucked over you and now they in that energy. Yeah, look, reveal. I can't make this up. 
Once you found out what the fuck was going on, that nine of wands just was like, bitch, I'm out. Yeah, I feel like you find out the truth about whoever this woman is. I feel like too, he been with this woman a long time. I'm getting that, like I'm, I'm getting, I'm also getting this love child. I'm also getting parent planning, like they, they trying to plan a pregnancy. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Dedication, they plan this pregnancy. I'm heavy on poly polygamy. They keep, I keep hearing that. Like this person actually thought that you, I don't know. I, I don't know if he thought you'd never find out or like, did this person at some point where they come into you to ask you like, you want to have a threesome with this person or like you want to be in a polygamy relationship with this person. That's how they could have presented this shit. This, you know, I feel like either way it's like that with the nine of wands, it's like, bitch, are you fucking crazy? Give me one more nine of wands. It's like, are you fucking crazy? Yeah, opposites attract. It's in the reverse now. It says, um, lessons, not your usual type, different spiritual beliefs. It's in the reverse. It's like I said, I feel like when, when you and this person started out, like y'all had a lot of shit in common. Like a lot of, y'all shared a lot of views, a lot of like, spiritual shit and it's just like this person lied all that shit was fake they they said what you wanted them to, to say like what you wanted to hear they said it i feel like too um it says stay dedicated to your goals efforts that will reap success i'm telling you they're trying to get pregnant they're very dedicated to this they're having a lot of sex Whoever this third party is, they with they having a lot of sex and they dedicated to each other. They this is almost like they married. For some of y'all, that might be the case. You might be the third party and don't know about it. I don't know, but I, all I know is with this nine of swords in, in reverse, this person is having a mental break about you being gone. Okay, this person know you gonna clarify this nine of swords here. What's this nine of swords? Detachment. <laughs> I told you that it's like now this person they can't fuck. I mean, it's just like they really stressed. Like it's it's this third party shit. It done came to a complete halt. It wasn't supposed to happen like that. You were supposed to just suck this shit up when you found out about it and be a part of this polygamy of third party. It says I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Yeah, just period. You clearing your mind, but this bitch going crazy. They having a psychotic break. This person thinking about who you with right now. <laughs> no, who you with, bitch? Who you with? Who you with? I'm here, you got a new boyfriend, that's a layup, period. Bitch, why are you trying to keep scoring the game? What else? So you t you detach from this person. Damn, how many ways you gonna do it, Scorpio? Retreat, detach. It's like you waving your uh, white flag, I give up, I'm out. Time spent alone, reflection on the past and current situations, just period. And your thing is, how dare this bitch? You somewhere making bones, bitch? You somewhere getting somebody pregnant, ho? Like, boy, you is straight for the fucking street. Trash, curb, all that shit. Like, Scorpio is like, oh, hell no. Yeah, contemplation. You been telling this person you gonna leave him because this person live in this fucking energy is what I'm here with this wandering ass eye of his. They keep showing me his eyes wandering. On judgment in reverse, yeah, twin flame in reverse. This is a false twin, Scorpio. This ain't even your fucking person. So this person married. This could be another situation where this person married and they they him and his wife planning like trying to get pregnant and shit. And the and it just ain't happening. <laughs> like because of you. Like the third part of shit is like you didn't you didn't sign up for that shit. Yeah, this person married, Scorpio. Twin flame in the fucking reverse. 
It says a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame, not and soul contracts, soulmates, partnership, spiritual union here. Yeah, I feel like now I feel like that's what's really driving this person crazy because they they don't want you to find somebody new that you that's truly your match. Like they fake being your match. They fake being your twin. They know you're going to find somebody or somebody is about to find you. Or maybe this has already happened. Like they know you're going to be with somebody else and it's, it's making them. They can't even focus on their wife. Yeah, look, leap of faith coming out in the reverse. This person's stuck. They're going through pure hell right now. Judgment is upon their ass for how they did their wife, how they did you. Like judgment, 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 judgment. Everything being exposed to this wife, she gonna know exactly what the fuck went on with y'all. Like, yeah, it's being revealed to her. And you at the same time, that's what I'm getting. Like, clarify this five of wands. So with this five of wands, Scorpio, I feel like intuitively, you knew it was somebody else, women's intuition, you can call it. I just feel like you knew. Yeah, look, cold shoulder on the five of wands. It's like you done. I feel like this shit didn't happen before. Decluttered. It's like you getting this person out your life. This is the only thing in your life right now that's negative. And this some shit this person brung into y'all connection. Put you on blast. Like, I'm telling you, like, the audacity. I feel like this person just, you know, because that's their wife. You saying, like, the audacity of this bitch. Like, you, not only is you out... In the in in the public, you over here making bones like you couldn't understand this shit. Why this person was non-committal to you, but you know like this person go missing days at a time and shit like that. Yeah, I feel like you figured this shit out, Scorpio. Before you figured out, before you got confirmation, before it was revealed to you. Okay, let's see. Clarify this three of pentacles. How did this uh, marriage get exposed to Scorpio? Oh, okay. So this is somebody you used to deal with in the past and you, you like reconcile with this person. It said we will always come back to each other. Yeah. But this only this person came back married, Scorpio. This could be some shit too where you knew they was married and they promised like they told you they weren't happy and they leaving this person and all this shit. The happiness is in reverse. New beginnings. That lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Yeah. This person lied. Because this person, they, they got a wandering eye. When this person saw you, whoever this is from your past, they had to have you. And that's what they did. This person is very fucking reckless. Okay. Just period. Yeah, now that bitch in deep regret. Can't sleep. Having a psychotic break. It says, I wish this never happened. I bet. Creativity is in reverse under that judgment and the strength card, not the judgment. I'm sorry. I'm clarifying the strength card on the strength card. You're pulling the creativity in reverse. Yeah, because I feel like like you being with this person, like prevented you from having a lot of like um, prosperity and wealth. Like, I feel like you put all your shit on the back burner to help this tramp. From your past, they was a tramp. That's why I kept saying, that's why I kept saying, like, this person that did this shit to you before. Because y'all used to go together real bad. Yeah. Clarify the strength. Now this bitch, everything going, this bitch can't work. They can't create shit, first of all, because you created this business. Yeah, look, red flags. I feel like this person thought you was going to fold and just go with this polygamy shit. Signs, cheating, deception. It's like, no, nah, my woman's intuition already told me it was another woman again. Like, yeah, intimacy is in the reverse. Yeah, your women's intuition. Like, when you sleeping with this person or intimate with this person, like, you realize something off. It says passion coming into union, chemistry missing you. It's off. Like. Yeah, this person, they, they was living a whole nother life. Like, this part, I'm hearing imposter syndrome. <laughs> what else? Clarify this three of swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like you, it's like you been processed this shit. 
like you you ain't leaving no stone unturned. Like you cutting this person off. You don't want no contact. This is no contact with the three of swords in reverse. This is I don't want you to come back. I'm good. Like, yeah. Manifestation. Yeah. Law of attraction, thoughts become things. I feel like you somewhat getting your shit together, Scorpio. Centering yourself, recovering from this stupid ass shit. Yeah, look, reconciliation. Coming out in the reverse, you'll never take this bitch back again. Harmony, resolving issues, getting back together. That's a no. That is a definite fucking no. Clarify this um, three of swords in reverse. You know, like this person just wants you to stay with their ass. You're a soulmate in the reverse. It's like this person just lied the first time. I feel like I feel like you took this person back because you was thinking twin flame. You thinking that, you know, this was your person. He just wasn't ready at the time. You know, y'all broke up because he was with this bitch the last time. You, you had to cut him off with the cold shoulder. You found out about that shit. And it's like you took this person back in denial, thinking they was wholeheartedly true. And it, it just, this ain't your fucking person. Fail you to accept the situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. And on soulmate, the divine will provide you with love when you're ready. Yeah. And I feel like that's what you you thought you manifested this person. That's what you thought this second time. You thought, why would they come back fucked up? Well, they do it. Clarify this eight of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like now you back on your shit. I feel like you back in them streets too. Yeah, push, pull, power struggles, imbalance, stubborn. I just feel like, you know, Scorpio, I just feel like this, this, you know, you kind of like put yourself through this one. But I feel like it's a lesson learned and you moving the fuck on and you ain't coming back to this shit. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. Absolutely. I feel like your business definitely takes off. There's plummets. Yeah, look, abundance. I can't make this shit up. My spirit team here. An inflow of money, love, rewards coming. This person is guilty as charged. That's why you moving on. It's like you're no longer in denial about this connection. You know that this person is a false twin. Clarify this page of cups. You know too this person married and they ain't leaving their wife and they trying to plan children. Like It's like you saw into everything. Like literally you see what the fuck going on with this person. Like everything got exposed. It says on the page of cups in reverse, thinking of you, crying, nostalgic, <laughs> missing you. I bet the fuck you is. I bet you are. What else on this page of cups? But you keep that fake ass apology, that froggy ass cup, bitch. Get to your wife if she's still there. Yeah. This person trying to get your attention because <laughs> you totally blocked this bitch. Temptation always busy, kept you waiting. Yeah. Mm -mm. Now nah, that's you and them. Like, you keeping it, like, it's, you cut them off. They can't contact you and they going crazy. Look, I can't make this shit up. Communicate is in the reverse. And their strength is in reverse. This shit making them weak, I'm telling you. This person was nothing without you anyway. Look at your overall energy. It's like peace, bitch. You live for your peace. That's it and that's all. Let's get an angel number. Let's get an angel number. You coming out of this shit. And they're going down, I'm telling you. Yo, you thought this person had to change. You thought you had to manifest your twin. Mm -mm. You manifested the same clown that you left the last time. Y'all, anytime we see these um, triple, I mean, quads like this, go ahead and cash out 2222, guys. All right, so that is Feminine Forces. Okay, it says you can do everything by yourself. Put life, but life is to be shared. Partner up with the with the right spirit and you'll become a force. Honor commitments and people around. Don't judge. Listen. Yep, see? That's that's what this whole reading about. Give me one more here. Like it's you taking your feminine energy back from this these forces of you wanting to be in a committed relationship with this person thinking they was somebody right and they was totally wrong. Just like the first time. Yeah, look at those twos showing up. Zero, two, zero, two. Heavy on the twos here. 
It says, act on your idea. You have a you have the benefit of good fortune. And if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern since what you plant will grow. You're about to experience a spectacular accent. 22, 22, guys. Cash out that. Look, twos again with the ones. Y'all better come on through. Energy levels. How much time we got? We good. It says, that day you're waiting for will come. Maintain discipline. You're getting closer to your end goal. There's no need to overextend yourself. Guard your energy to remain focused. It will pay off. It's it's a climb, not an elevator ride. Trust in you. Yeah, and that's what you're doing. Because this eight of pentacles, it's like you push your shit back to help this person's shit grow. And it's like they this person, they got a whole nother family somewhere. They, they didn't have, look at this. There you go in the bottom. That's limitless potential right there, Scorpio. I can't make this up. Some of y'all just don't need to be paired with motherfuckers. It's just time. Look, five, 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 four, four, four. Come on, y'all. 11, 11. I don't know who you is, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if I ain't hearing a cash out drop right now, y'all is crazy as fuck. 11, 11, 44, 44. You got limitless potential. That's what this pool is about. And five, five, five. If you want the change... If you want the limited potential, go ahead and agree with me. I don't know what, what whatever is calling out to you. The, the four zeros, that's just what, what this is accessing. The limited potential. And look how it's lined up. That's your faith. Are you 11-11 faith, 44-44 faith, or this 55-55? Do you want real change? Change that stick? You're looking for love? Whatever it is, y'all. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video.